What's up guys, it's Alec back 111 and it's time for part two of my giant, huge, thickest boy unboxing, whatever you want to call it, whatever I titled it last week. Um, this is Mama Bear, so I did Papa Bear, Baby Bear, and this package is 57 pounds alone. Honestly, this is big enough that I could do an entire boxing on just this, but because it is so massive and because I bought so much from him, um, it's just easy for you guys to know. So, those of you that did not watch last week's video, I would go and hit that. I'll put it in the card right here. Um, but if you guess how much I spent on this entire package, it's either going to end in a zero or a five. If you guess that exactly what I spent on this package, then you can comment that below. And I'm sending for every person that gets the exact same number, I'm going to send a free patch to you. Uh, no charge for you, just I'll pay it. Um, three people won it last two weeks, three weeks ago now. And so I sent those out to them. All right, let's get into it. So time for the 57 pound box. Obviously this thing is dumb thick as you guys can tell. We got one, we got two. This guy did an awesome job packaging all this stuff. Some of you guys will send me packages or I'll get from people that are really, really just bad. Um, but this dude managed to package all of his entire collection into three boxes, which is impressive feat on its own. But everything so far in the first package was very good and this one looks like it's about the same all right first thing up in the second box is actually a Haley's chest rig and he actually has the Haley's inserts for these as well I've had like three of these in the past before I really like them but I never use the Haley's inserts I did have problems when I ran it that the mags would kind of fall out if they were a little bit looser so it looks like those will help a lot and I will actually probably keep this and run this I love these rigs so much for like quick fast uh, games. All right, next gun is a, I believe, a combat machine with a jack. Um, it's got a really nice stippled grip on here as well. Looks like he kind of just either had somebody do it or he stippled the entire grip. I love stippled grips. Um, it's a combat machine lower with a jack inside, but on the top up here, he's actually got a Prometheus hop up unit in here. And so I did not even know that Prometheus made hop ups, but I was like, dang, that looks a lot like the Promi purple buckings. Um, but there is a purple uh, hop-up, and apparently Prometheus makes hop-ups now. So this is a Mad Bull barrel as well. This is a combat machine upper and some sort of M-lock rail. This actually has the trades on it, so it makes me think that it's not the same as combat machine, like what came on it, but I'm not sure. It's got like an A. I'm not sure what brand that is. But really nice HPA gun nonetheless. Up next, I this is a Strike Industries buffer tube, but I think this actually might be for a real gun. I don't know if they make airsoft ones he does know that i have an airsoft or a real ar-15 actually i'm trying to sbr my 10.5 inch um, right now it's an air pistol but i really love to put like a magpul ubr stock on there so i may actually end up throwing this on here so yeah i believe this is a real buffer tube but looks really nice i love strike industry stuff up next real quick we have a multi-cam holster just a basic holster and then i believe this is uh, some sort of atax pattern i think this is the atax like arid Maybe it's multi-cam arid, I can't remember. This is the ATAX pattern, I believe, unless it's like a random Condurp color. Up next is probably the thing I am second most excited about with this unboxing. Uh, this is a Tokyo Marui MP5 A5. For you, those of you that know me know that I love MP5s. I actually just got a Polar Star F2 one that I might do a video on actually. And man, these boys may be a little bit creaky, but they feel so, so cool. Looks like the flash hider just came off. I don't know if that was during shipping or as it was, but I love MP5s. I just think they're so cool. Eventually I want to own a real one. They're just kind of stupid, dummy, expensive, to be honest. Um, but these things are so nice. This is the A5 because it has the retractable stock. For those of you who don't know, oh, what's a bee? Watch out, there's bees, boys and girls. I got my MP5. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get to the next part, but I really love these MP5s. Up next, we have the single greatest item of the entire unboxing. Oh my gosh, bro. Jared and I had so many of these lightsabers. This is Anakin's blade, now Ray's blade. It's still Anakin's blade, nobody cares. The Skywalker lightsaber, um, Ray's a piece of trash. Anyway, but man, this is so cool. I love it. It's crazy how much shorter these got now that I'm more than just three feet tall. But this thing is so cool. Up next, we got a Crytac box. So I think this is the Crytac LVOA. Yep, it says Crytac LVOA BK, which means that it's black, but it's actually gray. So this is the Wolf Gray Crytac LVOA. This was actually the first Crytac that I ever purchased. I bought this off e-bike. I was like, man, these boys are so cool. And so he has one. It looks like he used this one a little bit. It looks like he's still in pretty good condition, but definitely has the externals to be one of his 
favorite guns. This actually might be an IR laser thing up front, but he's running half real and half fake Magpul XTMs, or these ones are all real, but there's one in here that is not like the others, so I'm not 100% sure. But I love these LVAs. This is the Mark II. You can tell it's the Mark II because of the straight trigger. And so I actually had a Mark I. I had the regular ones. But Crytek did a little bit of upgrading a year or two after they were a company, as it existed as a company. I don't know if they're ever going to release a Mark III. But Crytek, if you guys don't know or have not used, they're probably the best stock gun in the market, honestly. Up next, we have another gun case. Man, this uh, externals were all in the other package. But it looks like this boy is all guns. And I was right. We have an FN Scar L. I don't know 100% what brand this is. I think. Whoa. Yo, this is gas blowback. Oh. So I don't actually know which brand makes the gas blowback scar. I think it'd be a WE if I had to guess. I think WE makes a gas blowback scar. I'm not a huge GBBR guy, but it looks like he might have had one. He included four magazines with it as well. Yeah, these are pretty sure this is a WE magazine. They don't have any markings or anything, but from the looks of it, it looks very similar to my brother's uh, M4 WE mags. Alrighty boys, you know what time it is. We're going in again. Oh, come here baby. Last gun, I believe, of the unboxing. Ugh. All right, thanks, Justin. Uh, up next is what I believe to be a VFC Scar L. It actually has a functioning bolt catch. I really like the muzzle brake that he put on this boy. I think that is sweet. Um, I believe this is a VFC, like I said. I'm not 100% sure, but I've had enough VFCs that I think this is a VFC. I do know that G&G and Echo One all make a Scar as well, and they're pretty nice externally, so... I think this is a, a VFC, but I'm not 100% sure because there's obviously, once again, no trades. However, it did come in a VFC box, so I think that would be the same thing. <laughs> I think it'd be the same thing. But yeah, guys, this has been Alec Mac 111. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, good luck guessing. I think there is enough stuff in here for me to be satisfied for a long time. Um, I'm going to say the same thing I said at the end of the other video. I am not going to use all of this, so if you see something that you really want, I am willing to sell some of this. Obviously, I can't keep all these guns. I have way too much airsoft stuff as is, and so I'm constantly selling stuff either on Hop Up, through my Instagram, if you want to message me, either my main Instagram, my personal Instagram, or if you want to message me through. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. This has been Alec Mac 111 and I will see you on the next video. <laughs> oh, is it Ray Skywalker with a Texas hat? We shall do it. Women's rights, yeah! <laughs> I'm leaving that in.